Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to create a circle progress or ring chart. So what we have here are these concentric rings. And each of them start at a common place, but they end up at a different place depending on the percentage, right? So each ring is supposed to be, a full ring is, is 100%, and wherever this ring ends is, is that percentage. This is 67, 45, 33, 11, 5. And this kind of represents a the title here, how often you feel stress. Maybe this is asked of people. And we can see that as the rings get closer into the middle, and that's the purpose of the ring. As you get closer to the middle, uh, your lower values would be closer inside the ring. Now this is actually not done with a pie chart. This is actually done with a donut chart. And so let me show you how it's done. I'm going to delete this. And the way that we bring in these values is we have our question and then we have our uh, text here that represents each of the ring series and our values for it, right? So these are our main values, the 5%, 11%, the 33%, the 45%, 67%. And what we need to do is we need to take the delta of that uh, alpha 100, 100% minus 67% is 33. And of course we would get our other um, and with the deltas between the other ones, 100% minus 45 is 55, and of course we have 67, 89, and 95 respectively. How we start with this is go under insert and look at the pie chart, and what we want to do is get that donut. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And what we want to do is start to incorporate or bring in our data. So click select data. Under add, we're going to add our first series name is going to be the inner uh, the inner ring or the inner donut hole. So that's going to be that. Our series value is going to be these two series, the 5 and 95. Press enter, click OK, and we're going to keep selecting or adding these and as we add it, the rings are going to in be incorporated on the outer portions. So my series name is a couple times a year. My series value is these two values. Press enter, We've got our second ring. So this is our 11% and the orange part is our 89%. And let's do that with the next set of rings. We're going to add the series name here. Series value is going to be 33 in the 67. Press enter. Click OK. And add our couple times a week series. Select my two values there. Press enter. Click OK. And of course our last one. We'll add our last one here every day. Our series value is going to be these two. And press Enter and click OK. And click OK here. What we also want to do now is make this donut hole smaller. I'll select any one of these series, right click, Format Data Series, and that donut hole size, let's make it small. I think 10% is probably good enough. Now we have the start of our, our circle progress chart. So. I'm going to start to remove these orange portions or these orange colors of the circles or the rings because I don't need them. We want to show just the blue parts. We're going to make this transparent. That's how we're going to do it. So right click, select, oops, let me select out of there. You select my, select my outer ring, select it again just to select that portion, right click, and for the fill, it's going to be no fill. All right, and do the same thing for this one, select that. Select that ring, select it again, so only that one's selected. I hope that one's selected. I can press F F4 because it's going to repeat the last action. Yep, that did it. Select this one, select it again. Hopefully select it, press F4. Select this, select it again. Press F4, select this, and again. Press F4, right? And so now I've got my uh, progressive rings here. I don't need this legend. Select that, press delete. And I need to put the labels here now. So I will right click, oops, whoops, select that outer ring, that blue one, right click, add data label. You see my data label here. I'm going to move it over here. And once I moved it, oops, let's try it again. Select that, move it over here. And once I've moved it, you notice that it has a line. It's called a leader line. We don't want that leader line. So select on the label options and deselect that. You don't want that checkbox. Do the same thing for the second ring. Select that, select again, right click, add data label, and bring my 
label over. Let's see how I can select that and bring it over and remove the label line. Do it for the third category here, a couple of times a month. Right click, add data label, and bring this over. And remove the leader line. I think one thing I also wanted to do is probably bring over the series name. So let's select that first one and add the category name. Let's see if it added. Nope, it didn't do that. Control Z to undo. Probably was the series name. Yeah. So now I added that. So I should have done that first. Let's move this over here and delete that one because that's also adding it for the 33% uh, because I didn't add that one, but I also added it there. Let's delete that and do the same one for here and add the series name. Click this one again. Oops, click this one again. And let's see if we can do that. Yep, I have my value, I have my series name. And we want to make maybe make that one a little bit bigger. Bring that over here so it looks a little bit better. Same thing with the 33%. Click it again. Click on my series name box. Expand that out a little bit. Move this over. And you know, a lot of it's just kind of fine tuning now. And now I'm going to click on the, la the second to the last one here. Click it again. Right click, add data label. And click on my data label and bring it out. And also probably want to adjust that, get rid of the leader lines and add the series name and expand that out and move this over. So uh, the last one here, we're going to do the same thing. Click it, click it again, right click, add data label and click on my label and kind of move it out for now and adjust the leader lines and the series name. And let's see if we can kind of make this all kind of line up. It looks, it looks okay so far. We'll line, it, line this up a little bit and line that up a little bit. Hopefully that's okay. All right, that's not that bad. Add a title here, chart title. And I'm just going to type equal, go up to the formula bar, type equal, and just reference cell A1, press enter, and it kind of moved the chart down a little bit. So let's move this one down here and move this one down here. So after creating our circle chart, our progressive circle chart, you might have to kind of, you know, fine tune some of the, the placement of the labels and whatnot. And if I wanted to adjust the colors to kind of look like they're, they're a little great, they have gradients and there's little changes, I can do that. I just select on the first one, right click. And for the fill, let's just kind of like go up We'll select five, right? One, two, three, four. So we'll start with the darkest one here. And then for the second one, select that again. Right click, fill. We'll go to the second darkest one. Select this one. Select, select it again. Right click, fill, and go to the third. And this one be select, select again. Right click, go to the fourth one here. And for our last one, it will be the last shade or the last tint of that color which is this really light one here. So there we have our contrast of colors, and we also have our labels to indicate uh, the different answers to this question. So this is how you can create a circle progress chart or a ring progress chart. And this is something that you've probably seen on dashboards or infographics. It's not too hard to create, it just takes a little bit of time. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.